I am delighted to have this opportunity to share a Christmas message through the wonderful medium of Shalom World TV. This is my first opportunity to offer a Christmas greeting now that the Irish base for Shalom is here in the heart of our Diocese of Kildare and Lachlan in Port Leisha. I welcome the Shalom family and friends into our diocese and I greet all of you wherever you are viewing this Shalom greeting on Christmas morning. I love Christmas. Despite the busyness that we associate with the feast, often witnessed in the last minute lead up to the season in the immediate days before, there is huge grace to be found in the fact that a tiny infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger, as Luke so descriptively reminds us, still continues to have such a profound effect on our world. Some will ask, has the wider world forgotten Christ with Christmas fever reaching panic stations? Panic, stress, anxiety that have nothing to do with the infant born in a manger, in a stable, but have everything to do with the adult we see when we look in the mirror first thing in the morning. I still believe, as Christmas settles in, all our minds turn eventually to Christ. And I pray yours turn to him in this season also. Today, too many people are born in similarly identical situations to Christ 2,000 years later. Travelling not on a donkey or a dromedary or even a camel, but on their own feet sometimes holding on tenuously to the back of a container lorry as they make their way to a better life than the one they are leaving. It's a journey of fear, often originating in intimidation or exploitation. We have to appreciate that conditions must be very bad for those who make this journey because they know ahead of time that often the welcome they get is no different than the message of the innkeeper 2,000 years ago. There is no room in this inn. Since 2004, Kildare and Lachlan Diocese, across all our 56 parishes, have marked the Advent Christmas period with a shared Reach Out initiative. I compliment my immediate predecessor, Bishop Jim Moriarty, for setting this in motion with our Diocesan Faith Development Services 12 years ago. It has continued, growing from strength to strength each year. Through a simple card and gift, parishes extend a Christmas greeting and blessing to those near and far. The message and gift seeks to share something of the joy of the infant born in the manger at Bethlehem. Pope Francis so often reminds us to go to the margins, the fringes, the peripheries. Indeed, Pope Emeritus Benedict and St. John Paul II invited us again and again and again to duck in altum, launch out into the deep. Our diocesan reach out here in Kildare and Lachlan seeks to do just that. The 2016 reach out is a little different this year. Every home will receive a card and an accompanying prayer. But the parish gift is a financial donation made in the name of the people of the diocese to our development agency run by the church, Trokra, who will, through its offices and that of Caritas Syria, support specific projects in Syria. The United Nations sees the Syrian situation as the largest humanitarian crisis since World War II. 2016 has been a very difficult year for many. For none more so than those refugees leaving their troubled homelands, making hazardous journeys, many of them originating in the Middle East, places deeply associated with the Christian message. More Christians than ever are being persecuted for their faith. Thousands have fled Mosul in Iraq, the cradle of Christianity, 
A huge percentage of the Christian community have been pushed out of Syria since the conflict began five years ago. Our contribution to the Gildare and Lachlan Diocesan Reach Out is offered as a gentle and simple reminder to those who have stayed that they are not forgotten. Lately, a friend brought my attention to a very recent film entitled The Queen of Katwa, a film set in Kampala, Uganda. It portrays the difficulties and joys of families, enabling them to appreciate the little they have and the great things they can achieve. The film does this through the story of a 10-year-old girl, Finia Mutise, whose world changes profoundly when a missionary teaches her and her friends how to play chess. Through the image of this 10-year-old girl and her young companions, we are reminded that we can be empowered to change the world in very gentle ways. What matters is when you reset the pieces. She's winning. She's winning. And play a game. Rather than through force or violence, the sad irony is that children continue to be the ones who suffer in conflicts where adults refuse to listen. Here in Ireland, counsellors and therapists remind us that the hour before noon on Christmas Day is the most testing for all adult relationships, as exhaustion sets in from the earlier than usual start on Christmas morning. Juggling the preparation for Christmas dinner, entertaining visitors who don't know when to leave, and trying to assemble children's toys when the instructions have been discarded or the batteries don't fit. I think the image portrayed in that short Ugandan film, The Queen of Katwa, reminds us that it is not far removed from what happened in Bethlehem 2,000 years earlier. The only trouble is that too many people in our world need Christmas to happen, not just once a year, but every day. Let's do our bit to make this Christmas special. Let's change someone's life, even if it means learning a game of chess. May Christ, born in a stable, be born in your heart this Christmas morning. May all of us see the world not through our eyes, but through the perspective, perspective of the child, the Christ child. And remember the innkeeper I mentioned earlier, an anonymous poet has written, I had to send that pair away. They do not pay. And trade is trade and money too, I say. And yet that girl, she shivered in the doorway there. And once she raised her eyes to mine and smiled, I could have knelt, I swear. But some lout made a call for wine and broke the spell. I turned then from my door and I did well. Two merchants took the great room overhead. That's my policy, I buy and sell. And keep my pity for the dead. And yet that girl, that girl, she turned and looked. And fairer than before and went away. As if she walked with emperors and was a queen. And all the world was hers. Our diocesan prayer for peace. Written by our friends in Caritas, Syria. Lord our God. Father of all humanity, change the hearts of all peoples and their rulers so that peace may be established among the nations on the foundations of justice, love and righteousness. May the spirit of peace descend upon the people of Syria and upon our world until all conflicts cease and peace reigns on earth. Amen.